There are many different names for marijuana. Pot, weed, reefer, to name a few. It has been in our society for centuries, always part of our culture. If Proposition 19 passes in California, individuals over 21 will be able to grow marijuana and possess up to an ounce of marijuana in the state of California. It will be taxed, and it is estimated that it will earn about $1.3 billion in tax revenue, which would greatly help California's economy. But what would happen if it was legalized? How would it affect our society? It would help California's economy significantly. It would create more jobs, reduce crime. But it could also increase drug use and be much easier for teens to get their hands on it. I decided to interview people to see their thoughts on this proposition and to inform me and the people of California about this controversial issue. Well, I feel like legalizing marijuana could be a good step. I think that we would make a lot of money off of the taxes, and we aren't in the best economic circumstances now, so that could really help our state out. Um, and so, yeah, generally, I think it could be a pretty good idea. Um, I think this is going to do nothing, going to do nothing but bring corporate America and and out of town organized crime and big money interests into our weed scene, and I don't think we need it. I'm opposed to the measure. Well, I'm surprised for starters. It always seemed growing up like this would never happen. I think that it's primarily on the ballot for the purpose of raising money for city coffers, city funds, and taxes, which is a vital and important thing to do, to have tax monies to support social systems, social programs. I don't think anything good will come of it. I think there's a lot of use right now as it is, so I, I wouldn't expect it to change too much. I mean, certainly the image might change. I'd be a little concerned about what um, you know the advertising world would do with it once they got a hold of it because I mean that's the only thing it's missing right now is advertising in the, the mass market. I suspect people will use it whether it's legal or not so it's probably not going to be a huge change. I think trying it is not a big deal but some percentage of the people who try it end up losing control of their ability to decide when to use it. They basically become functionally addicted and having more people addicted to marijuana is not a good thing for society so if the only payoff is that we get to raise some tax money I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it would greatly increase it. Right now I think the, the fact that it's illegal doesn't really stop many people. I mean I grew up in a town where marijuana wasn't common but people who wanted to use it used it. It just creates more problems than it fixes. Uh, I think it's a bad way to raise taxes. On the other hand, if people are going to spend their money on marijuana anyway, for those that are already committed to that lifestyle, I think it's great to get some taxes from them. Well, I think it's uh, somewhat unimaginative of our government to have to resort to just finding some new thing that isn't taxed. I mean, you know, basically the whole tax structure needs <laughs> needs to be re overhauled because, you know, we can't just introduce new taxes on gambling or introduce new taxes on marijuana to solve our problems. I mean, it's, it's a bigger issue than that. It's grown indoors with lights and it's very energy intensive and it just doesn't seem the way to grow a plant. So um, I would say one positive thing about it being more legalized is that, you know, maybe it would be grown in a more sustainable fashion that wouldn't be as energy intensive. be collecting the tax. So we can have a new marijuana tax police. Is that going to be the California State Board of Equalization? Is that going to be the State Liquor Board? Who is going to be collecting the tax? What kind of enforcement mechanisms are we going to have on the tax? Are we going to have people going around marijuana farms up north counting plants and, and, and imposing hypothetical taxes upon the plants? Or is it going to be after harvest? Uh, so Berkeley's ballot measures say if you're using it for medical purposes the tax will be much lower if you're using it for non-medical purposes the tax will be 10 percent which is pretty significant uh, that's higher than the sales tax that you pay on anything you purchase so it is a pretty uh, significant tax but we have devised it that way 
in order to cover the cost to the city of Berkeley and the taxpayers of Berkeley for anything that we have to deal with in terms of zoning permits for new businesses like this, in terms of any public safety costs or needs that we have. City revenues just come to the city general fund. Uh, there's not a specified, like, it will go to pay for this. We're trying to move away from this whole mentality of incrimination and incarceration, the criminalization of a whole bunch of young people and all kinds of people. Uh, many people have ended up serving jail time for small quantities of uh, cannabis, and that doesn't make any sense. I think it will be safer for the city and the state if we have policies in place which provide regulation and taxation rather than criminalization. City revenues just right now as it is. So I, I wouldn't expect it to change too much. I mean, certainly the image might change. Taxing. I'd be able to listen to what people's views are on this topic. And I now know my opinion on it. But my opinion isn't what matters in the end. Should we legalize marijuana and tax it, or should it remain illegal? It's up to you.